Scabs? Not sure. Maybe. Should be looking for a new spot to slice and dice, not gunning after us. But who knows? Real messed up pendejo, Scabs. Saw it yourself. Many forces are fighting for control of Night City, but the mega corporations are the real showrunners. The agent we're going to meet represents Militech, one of the largest companies in the private military sector. Why are we stopping? Remember the corpo off Dex's shard? Ranger, she's in the area, and we're gonna meet. Let me guess. She's in hot corpo water. Desperate. When you think you can use that. See if I can, yeah? Since Cyberpunk 2077 is an RPG, Preparation will be key when dealing with Night City's powerful, especially when these are corpos. Instead of just rushing in, let's assess the situation with our freshly installed Kiroshi optical scanner. There, let's take a closer look. Composite armor, car's a fucking tank. Shit. Yeah, Militech, no doubt about it. You sure you still want to meet him? Yeah, gotta do this. But don't you move a damn muscle. Not unless I start, that is. These guys are levels higher than we are. Let's try to approach them carefully. Stout. Take it you were the one to call? Yep. But wanted... Think you're smart? Thought you could blackmail me, bitch? Set conditions? Calm the hell down! What is I've this? I've got you now, asshole! You're insane! Who the fuck is this? I'll know in two seconds, Flat. That fucking thing ready? All set. Are you here alone? The Corpos have hacked us through our personal link and have subjected Come us to a kind on. of lie detector program. The dialogue system in Cyberpunk 2077 is fully gameplay driven. I asked if you came alone. Yep, just little old me. She's lying. Search the area. Now listen, boys. we don't need to be here all day. This piece of shit, Anthony Gilchrist, did he or another asshole at Militech leak info to you or anyone else about a convoy? It might be tempting to reach for the gun, but the yeah. consequences it's could got be nothing dire. To do with him Remember, or these guys are really tough. Shit. Checks out. <laughs> you got nothing on me! Nothing! Won't get away with this, you bitch! You're dead! Somebody shut him up! Take me home! Now! All right. I have no idea who you're working for or what you even want, but you better give me something solid or I will end you. I've got an offer. Oh, you are stretching. This better be fucking good. Gang goons who ripped you off? I know where to find them. They got a bot I want. Give me the funds to buy that bot. You can do what you want with the gang. I don't give a shit about the thieves. I want my mold. Credship, 50k. Just enough to buy you your bot. Thing is, Chip's gotta make it into the thieves' terminal. That's all I need. Think you can do that? Then we got a deal. Fine. I'm in. Try to fuck me in any way, and I'll be seeing you real soon. You're making a mistake! This cunt's good as dead! And she'll take you down with her! The agent gave us the money to buy the bot we need from the game. By choosing to call the Militech agent earlier, we have now opened up a non-violent path through this quest. Of course, we could try and keep the money, but that would mean we'd have to take the merchandise by force, which requires a lot of firepower. Looked a little fishy, you know? Get the tents? No signal, so I stay put. Good thing, too. Went down about like I expected. Made a deal, and we're good to meet with Maelstrom now. 
Be there soon. What do you expect? Corpses don't forgive or forget. Even these Borg fucks sense that. Feel the pressure. That's why they're holed up in this shithole, praying to the almighty Trip Six. Gotta move the tech, but they can't. Cause your new best friend from the tripped out, tanked out SUV, is just begging them to try. How you wanna do this? Even now, we can choose how to approach this quest. Do we go in guns blazing, or do we try to negotiate All right. for the plan? Plan's simple. We pay with the Corpo's cred and get out. I don't know, but you're calling this one. For this demo, let's try oh, the more diplomatic approach. Uh... Tough shit. All we need's for them to buy it. <laughs> don't know you. Want to talk to Royce? Main room. I'm waiting. They look damn well prepared. All strapped with military gear. Psycho Borgs crumbed out with military grade hardware worth millions. Should be the guys we're about to meet are dangerous. They are members of the Maelstrom gang and their obsession with body modification goes way beyond even this world's standards. On their path to becoming machines, they don't shy away from even the most extreme measures. Anti-personnel mine. Shrapnel's better. Hm, my favorite. Kangoon's getting creative with their gear. It looks like they made this abandoned all-foods meat factory their hideout. Charming. Another one? Seriously? Maybe we should have taken him by surprise. A little late for regress like that. Got us in their sights now. Just keep moving. Stay cool. They're just trying to spook us. Remember, we've chosen to buy the tech, not steal it. Hopefully this will go yeah, fast and easy. This is a pretty well-guarded place. You can imagine what would have happened if we'd taken the violent path. What? Looking to buy a bot. Model MTOD-12. Looks like a spider. Couch planted. Yo, Kerr, peek around the corner, see if we got anything like that. Shit. Sit down. I'll stand. Can't move on your culo. Makes you an easy target. Sit down. That really necessary, hombre? I ain't your hombre. Sit. Sit your ass down before I plant a bullet in your skull. Jack, sit down. This ain't gonna end well, but... Shit. Well, all right. Fucking bravo. Come on, lighten up. Have a whiff. Better. Now we can talk. Goodbye. Need to see it. Suit yourself. Fucking tricked out, state of the art this thing. Don't even got no standard port. Bells and whistles though, dynamic camo armor and motor impulses rivaling that of the human nervous system. Its actuators are actually pimped with titanium fiber and it can go anywhere, literally. Watch this. Fully integrated link too. So when the spider starts crawling up walls, dangling from ceilings, you could lose your lunch. So, what you think? Pay up and let's get the fuck out of here. The buck. I'll take it. 
two questions. What the fuck's going on? And who the fuck is this? Got 50 large on this creature. And you positively reek of Militech. Dexter Deshaun sent me. Dexter Deshaun. Dreads. Gold plate. Fat old fuck! Got him? <laughs> we'll pay for the bot. We'll be on our way. How much you say you had? 50k? Preds on this. Move it. Not the smoothest of deals, but it worked out in the end, right? Flathead's good gear. It'll do the trick. Whatever that trick is. Shit. Shit, shit, shit! It turns out the cred ship we got from the Militech agent contained a virus which off. fried their system. The virus must have driven security. Royce, their leader, is making a break for it. Militech had to end this way. Before we figure out a way to leave, let's grab the splinter that controls the bot from one of these dead maelstromers. The inspection system allows us to take a closer look at the splinter. You can inspect specific items to reveal details that can help in solving quests. Okay, let's equip the splint to our chipware slot. With this done, the bot will now follow us wherever we go. Alright, what else do we have here? Nice! A street modified tech shotgun. Tech weapons fire rounds that penetrate walls and other types of cover. They also have an alternate fire mode that allows you to power up shots and deal more damage. It looks like there are several ways out of this room, like those gates, for example. However, you'd have to be a skilled net runner to hack into this terminal. Luckily, our engineering skills should allow us to disassemble that maintenance panel so we can get through the door. Got it. There are many skills right in the behind. game that players can apply in solving problems. The engineering skill can be used to fix, disassemble, and disarm devices blocking the Production line path. passes through here. And we're gonna pass through with it. So, from this point on, we're going to unlock the abilities of a high-end character to showcase some of the different mechanics we have in the game. One of the new weapon modules we now have installed is a ricochet targeting system connected to our eyes. This allows players to bounce bullets off walls and hit enemies hiding behind cover. This is another targeting system that will reveal enemies behind walls. Paired with the penetrating rounds of our tech shotgun, it's a deadly combination. Looks like we found some loot. This is a smart gun. It's one of the more advanced weapons in the game allowing bullets to track and follow their target. It's one of many different weapons players can acquire. Weapons are built of modules that allow for deep customization and progression. This way, you can be sure to find something that will suit your place. The toughest bastards guarding this route. Probably some reason for that.
Jesus Christ! My my legs! Just a reminder, everything you've seen and are about to see, including this particular feature we're about to show you, is from a work-in-progress version of the game and may change over the course of development. Okay, all exits covered? Okay, let's try something different. Kurt and Tommy? We're they going to take it? this guy down nah, and connect directly to his neural side. In the world of Cyberpunk, once you are jacked into a network, you have access to everything it connects to. Through this Maelstrom gang map, we've now connected to the gang hideout's internal network. This is the building's personnel system. Let's focus on the squad containing the Maelstrom ganger we just connected to. From here, we can deploy software that affects the whole squad. For now, we'll simply unlock the ability to perform quick hacks. All right, time to show off our new high-level ability. With QuickHack, using the back door we unlocked a minute ago, we'll install a virus that jams the connection between the Maelstrom Ganger and his weapon. This will prevent him from firing. Ah! Just, the hell is Looks now like he's having a problem her. now. Nice. Some of you might recognize these Mantis Blades. We can also double jump and bounce off of walls which makes us a very agile, fast solo. I'll check down here. Sweet, we just found a corporate tech rifle. Corpo weapons are top of the line. Let's scan this guy and see what's going on. It looks like Royce is back, and he's prepped. He's got an armored exoskeleton. We won't be able to get rid of him that easily. Our weapons are not dealing a lot of damage because he's packing an autonomous shield. Luckily, the scan we performed earlier revealed a weak spot. Attacking should bring the shield down. Shields down. Let's finish him off. Boy, it ain't going your way, you cunts. Okay, let's put him down and get this job over. That wasn't the smoothest raid, but we've got the bot, and Dex should be happy. But think back. What would have happened if we hadn't met with the Militech agent? or told Royce about the agent and her plans, or just decided to buy the bot ourselves. So many options, so many possibilities, and each will have consequences that will ripple through the game world and your story. And that's just one quest. Let's head out and finish the job. About goddamn time. Let's get out of here. work together more often. Your chip had the clap. That's not discreet. You set me up. I fucked you over. You fucked the gang over. Somewhere at the start of the story, somebody fucked the corp. See how this works now? Only the corp gets what it wants. Remember that. Learn it. Couple years down the line, you'll be standing where I am, watching somebody else doing... Yep. Being a rich
raging bitch to whoever's doing my dirty work for me. It's time we were on our way, Ida. Okay. Let's call Dax and tell him how things went down. My girl is shit eating soups. Mama knows. Hey, Mr. Dex. Get us that table at the afterlife? Hmm, matter of fact, I did. Just in my gut and all, you know. Well, you were right to. <laughs> well done, Miss V. Well done. See you there. Shit, I can't believe it, Ina. Major Leagues. We're in. <laughs> I mean, we fucking pried the door open. About the only thing I want to pry open right now is a bottle of scotch. Oh, no. Not another three-nighter. Por favor. Need to get to know this city, Jack. Not just gun in hand. I want a crusade. Amen, I know. We finished the job. But hey, V. You all right? <laughs> <laughs>